What's going on YouTube? My name is Darian. I am, of course, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. We talk about fashion on this channel, fragrances primarily, and we get into a little bit of grooming and lifestyle content as well. So if you like looking good and smelling great, I think you found the right channel, man. Make sure you hit subscribe, and don't forget to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. All right, guys, I'm going to be continuing on my favorite notes themed videos that I've been doing. Um, we're coming off of my favorite or top six notes in fragrances. I think we've done plum, we've done we've done patchouli, we've done tobacco, and now we're going to be coming off on tonka bean. Now I do have two other notes left in this series, which will probably happen in this order. We'll probably do rose next. We'll end it with amber because I think I have probably of all these fragrances, fragrance notes, I have most the most I have more amber fragrances than any of the other so we'll save that one for last but tonka bean i actually have 25 or 20 well probably a total of 27 probably two honorable mentions that i want to talk about on this video and i want to talk about my note the note of tonka bean now tonka bean of all the notes is probably my second favorite note right behind amber i think right now tonka bean is you know will fall right there behind amber is my top favorite note in all of uh perfumery now a lot of times you say, well, how do you, you know, I train my nose to detect certain notes. I have fragrance oils, but I also have stuff like this. This is tonka beans, 100% organic tonka bean. So I have things like this and I can just take these out. I open the pouch like this and smell. Oh, it smells so good. Or I can actually take them out. There's an actual tonka bean for you guys to see. Kind of looks like a big raisin. And um, that's how I kind of train my nose, man. And honestly, I love tonka bean. What I found out uh, with this being one of my favorite notes is there aren't as many fragrances that are centered just around a note of tonka bean. Tonka bean usually is a more supportive note in a lot of fragrances. Now, you'll find tonka bean in a lot of fragrances, but you don't find it in a lot of fragrances where it's prominently featured as the primary note. But, guys, you are going to, if you love tonka bean, you're going to want to stick around and see this video because I have, especially the top 10, where tonka bean is the featured note. The other ones are more supportive, but I'm going to talk about them. So I'm going to run the intro when we come back to top 25 tonka bean fragrances in my entire collection. If you want to see what's on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these fragrances because I don't want this to be super long. I'm going to show you the fragrance, give you a few notes that, you know, are uh, prominent notes in the um, fragrance, and we're going to move on. And I will mention, first of all, Sartorial Nui, my fragrances with novices by Farms. If you have not smelled this, you are doing yourself a disservice. It is a phenomenal fragrance that features tonka bean. Tonka bean, lavender, orange blossom, some of the main notes, and I promise you guys, one of my friends that purchased this was wearing it one day, we were outside, he was walking ahead of me, and I caught the sea eyes of this. Absolutely fantastic. You guys know I don't put my fragrance in the list, but an honorable mention definitely has to go to Sartorio Nui, an amazing tonka bean fragrance. Now, another honorable mention is this one, Cold Profumo from Armani. Another fragrance that prominently features a note of tonka bean with some benzoin and other stuff like that. But this is, again, still one of my top designer fragrances in my coll entire collection, probably in my top 20. That's how much I love this. But if you're looking for a great designer fragrance that features tonka, check this one out. This is Cold Profumo. Now, I'm going to run through these pretty quickly, but in the 25th spot is Lone Ideal from Guerlain. Got a nice dent in this bottle. Love this fragrance. This, with the note of tonka, you're gonna get a prominent note of almond. All right, now everybody talks about that kind of cherry vibe. I'm not really sure where that's coming from, but it's definitely in here. But from the designer side, I think this is a really great representation of Tonka. 
Alkabine is one of the primary notes uh, in here, along with the almond. Now, the funny thing about tonka bean is it can get off an almond kind of vibe by itself, vanillic in a way, kind of, but, you know, tonka bean is one of the notes, again, that adds a sweetness to a fragrance. You get a lot of that here. So, in the 25th spot, this is Lone EDL from Guerlain. In the 24th spot, we're going to go with this one. This is called Sand Dance from Stephanie Humber Lucas. All right, and what you get here is whiskey, cacao, and benzoin. So, you get uh, a lot of tonka, but you get more of that cacao whiskey. Again, the higher we get up on the list, the more prominent the note of tonka bean is going to be. But this is a nice one, especially if you like uh, cacao or kind of a chocolate of, uh, accord in your fragrances. Check this one out. This is called Sand Dance. All right, guys, number 23 is this one right here from Francis Kirkjohn, Amiris Ohm. Amiris Ohm. And what you get here is iris, coconut, and coffee. So a lot of those notes, you get a lot of that, especially that coconut, iris combination in this fragrance. But, of course, tonka bean serves as a great supportive note in this fragrance to give it that sweetness when it dries down. Love this stuff. In the 23rd spot, this is Amiris Ohm. All right, guys, coming in at number 22, I heard a lot about this fragrance when I first got into the fragrance game. This is from Tiziana Terizzi. This is called Alcantario. Alcantario, and this is a cacao, malt, and hazelnut. So it's a little bit boozy, you know, a little bit nutty, or that nutty nuance from the hazelnut, a little bit of a kind of a chocolatey uh, feel from the cacao with tonka bean. Amazing gourmand fragrance. I absolutely see why people ranted and raved about this back in the day. This is a good one. This is called Alcantario. All right, guys, early on in my fragrance journey, I just looked at the note breakdown and knew that I would love this fragrance, and I was absolutely right. Tonka Bean is one of the primary notes here from the brand of Amoise. This is Journeyman, coming in at number 21. And with Journeyman, of course, what you're going to get is Sichuan pepper and tobacco, and, of course, Tonka Bean. Really spicy up top. Love the tobacco here, um, <clears throat> along with the Tonka Bean. But Tonka Bean sweetens this up to kind of offset the tobacco and the, the peppery nuance you get from the Sichuan pepper. So number 21, love this fragrance right here, man, from I'm watching one of my favorites. This is Journeyman. All right, guys, coming in in the number 21, in the 21st spot, uh, this fragrance is one I love because it features Tonka Bean in the opening. So it's a top note in here. So you get a lot of it in the opening from the brand of Tiziana Terenzi. Again, this is called Shiran. This is called Shiran. This is vanilla, palo santo, sandalwood. And of course, you get a lot of Tonka Bean in the opening. This kind of has a, a really heavy presence of vanilla as well so it's almost mu as much a vanilla fragrance as it is tonka but you get the tonka being in the opening so i really do like that i've talked about this fragrance before check it out from tiziana terenzi this is called she Run. all right next up from the brand of tom ford this is called fucking fabulous all right fucking fabulous and what you get here is almond leather leather and vanilla in addition to the tonka bean the almond again almond is a note that really works well with tonka like i said before tonka bean by itself can sometimes in some instances depending on how you get off a kind of um almond kind of feel to it but you get that here the almond the tonka with the vanilla and of course the leather so check this one out if you like tonka bean you'll love this one this is fucking fabulous from tom ford all right guys you gotta have a sweet tooth to love this fragrance as a matter of fact you gotta have a sweet tooth to love a lot of these fragrances because tonka bean is a sweet note but this one comes from the brand of um, Unique Luxury. This is Beverly Hills Exclusive. This is a really sweet fragrance. This is honey and tobacco and tonka bean. Like I said, guys, gotta have a sweet tooth for this one. Gotta love honey. But if you like sweet fragrances, you will love this. This is from the brand of Unique Luxury. Check this one out. This is called Beverly Hills Exclusive. All right, guys, I'm fortunate to have an OG version of this fragrance, and you can now get it in its present form. But I love this one, another sweet gourmand fragrance from Bond Number 9. This is New Harlem. This is New Harlem. Of course, New Harlem, man, you get a lot of lavender in this fragrance. You get lavender and coffee, and you get that additional sweetness on the dry down that comes in from Tonka Bean. So one of my favorites of all time from Bond Number 9, I think probably one of the only two fragrances they have that would fall into the gourmand category. Love this stuff. You get, if you like Tonka Bean, you get a good dose of Tonka on the dry down. From bottom number nine, this is New Harlem. All right, this is a better performing fragrance, but it smells a lot like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. From the brand of Bodicita Victorious, this one is called Bodacious. 
This is bodacious. All right, what you get here is cherry, cognac, tobacco, and of course, tonka bean. Absolutely love this stuff. Like I said, smells a lot like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, except I get more tonka in this than I get with Lost Cherry, and this performs better than Lost Cherry, but it smells almost a one-to-one -one, uh, of that fragrance. But of course, guys, if you like tonka bean, if you like sweeter fragrances, especially with that cherry thing that's been really popular here as of late, this is one you need to get, need to get your nose on from the brand of Bodicea the Victorious. This is called Bodacious. And close to that top 10, but coming in, uh, next is a fragrance that you all have heard about, you know and love. And yes, it has a good dose of tonka bean in here, as well as a lot of other confectionery and sweet notes from Killian, Angel Share. Angel Share. And what you're gonna get here, guys, is praline, cognac, cinnamon, and of course, tonka bean. That cedar wood is here, that dry oak, oak wood, I'm sorry, is in here as well. I absolutely love this fragrance. And of course, I love the fact that in, in addition to all those other really sweet notes that they have in here, that it has a nice detectable note of tonka bean. This is so good, man. Now again, I wanna say, this is not necessarily the fragrances how I would rank them as far as what I like the most, because this would be in the top three for sure. But it doesn't have as much tonka. A lot of those other notes are really prominent, like the praline, the cinnamon, and obviously the oak wood note. But love this one from the brand of Bakelin, Angel Share. Another gourmand lover's dream where tonka bean serves as the primary note to really sweeten up this composition. This is from the Armani uh, Privé collection. I've talked about it before. This is Ombre Eccentrico. All right, Ombre Eccentrico. And what you get here is amber, dried fruits, and of course, tonka bean. Gosh, I love this. Guys, this is so good. This, Listen, like I said, this smells like uh, some type of raisin bread pudding. I always say that when I smell this. This is exactly what comes to my mind. But that tonka bean in here with the dates, the dried fruits. This is just phenomenal, man. You got to put your nose on this if you love gourmands. From the brand of Armani Privé, this is Ombre Eccentrico. All right, guys, next up on the list, this fragrance comes from the brand of Montal, and this is Arabian's Tonka. Arabian's Tonka. Now, this one actually has a very prominent rose oud combination, but you get a lot of tonka bean on the dry down. Don't get a lot of it in the opening of this fragrance. You may smell it initially and think this is more of just a, a rose oud fragrance because there's a lot of rose oud in the opening. But when it dries down, you get a lot of tonka bean. So check this one out from the brand of Montal. This is Arabian's Tonka. All right, guys, next up on the list, another one of those fragrances that have that apple pie kind of smell to it. And most of those fragrances do, fragrances do contain the note of tonka bean. This one is no different. I think it's probably one of the first ones to really do that DNA, correct? And that's from Hermes, that's Ombre Nargile. Ombre Nargile, and what you get here, of course, is rum, honey, cinnamon, and tonka bean. Like I said, if you love fragrances like Wajan and uh, Nightfall Patchouli from Carolina Herrera, um, One Million Privé, you'll love this. From Hermes, I think this was the originator. This is Ombre Nargile. All right, guys, this next fragrance holds a special place in my heart, and it has tonka bean in it, man. From the brand of Creed, this is Original Santal. Original Santal, this is lavender, cinnamon, sandalwood, and of course, tonka bean on the dry down. And that's one of my favorite parts of Original Santal. I love the fact that you get that freshness in here, but then you get that sweetness on the dry down with the tonka bean and cinnamon. Love this fragrance, one of my favorites from the brand. Of course, you guys know. This is one of those fragrances I'm kind of known for in the fragrance community. This is Original Santal. All right, guys, next up on the list, if you love Gourmands, this is another one. It is a must try from the brand of the House of Ooh. This is Dates Delight. All right, Dates Delight. And what you get here is dates, of course, cinnamon, caramel, and honey, in addition to the tonka. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. This kind of goes into that territory as well as like a Wajan or Ombre, Ombre Nargile. It kind of fits into that category as well, but the, of course, as the name indicates, you get more of that kind of confectionery sweetness, sugary sweetness from dates in the opening, and that's what kind of gives this somewhat of a difference as far as the overall scent profile. But guys, another great gourmand fragrance that features a note of tonka bean. Check this one out. This is called Dates Delight. Before I even got to this fragrance, I've already mentioned it twice on the list. <laughs> from the brand, apart from the Marley, of course, we gotta put Wajan in here. Wajan, cinnamon, honey, benzoin, 
and tonka bean. This is so good. What makes this so different, or what I would say stands out about Wajan from the other fragrances that have the apple pie kind of vibe, this one is the best performance. So everything is kind of amped up in here. The cinnamon is amped up, the honey is amped up, the tonka bean is amped up, and that's why it's a little bit higher on the list because I get great performance out of this. So check this one out. Another great fragrance that features tonka bean. This is Wajan. All right, guys, one of my amazing discoveries over the last six months here is this brand of Frank Bocklet, and they have a fragrance called Tonka. This is called Tonka, and this is fig, ginger, almond, and Tonka. So it's a little bit more of a fresher fragrance. Uh, definitely uh, the freshness in the opening kind of contrast that very sweet dry down. Love fig. Like I said, fig is a very sexy uh, fruity note that's been used a lot in a lot of fragrances here more recently over the last three years. So I love this one. Very nice usage of the note of Tonka. Very unique fragrance when I talk about other, the other fragrances on this list and kind of compare it to those fragrances. So check it out from the brand of Frank Bocklet. This is called Tonka. All right, guys, next up from the brand of BDK Parfums, this is called Velvet Tonka. This is Velvet Tonka, and what you get here is orange blossom, almond, and vanilla. So this is, that orange blossom really sweet. Again, almond here uh, with the Tonka bean. Love this fragrance, man. I think more guys need to get their nose on this one, but like, again, if you like Tonka bean, I'm pretty certain you're going to like this one. You guys need to get your nose on it. This one is called Velvet Tonka. All right, guys, next up from the brand of Boucheron, this is called Fave Tonka. All right, now what you get really with this, uh, all I wanna say about it, what you really get th with this, is you get a lot of almond and some iris. So almond is, you know, again, sweet, but it's more a little bit nutty, kind of powdery a little bit in a way. So you get that additional kind of powdery nuance with the iris here, with the Tonka bean. That's really what this fragrance is at the end of the day. So if you like your fragrances a little bit more on the powdery side, guys, I'm telling you, this is an amazing, Tonka bean fragrance. Then this actually, this kind of brand, there's another one, Ombre de Alexandre, I think that smells kind of like apple pie. But this is a nice, uh, this particular line is really nice. They have some other fragrances that I'm really interested in. But this is the Tonka bean fragrance from the collection and I love it. This is called Fev Tonka. Another fragrance line that has been a revelation to me is the Carolina Herrera Confidential uh, Collection. And this one is called Bronze Tonka. My God, guys, this is phenomenal. This is coffee, saffron, and sandalwood combined with the tonka bean. And what you mainly get, the two primary notes is coffee and tonka. Absolutely phenomenal fragrance. You got to check it out. If you love tonka bean, you will be highly impressed with this fragrance from the brand of Carolina Herrera. This is called Hans Tonka. And of course, next up on the list, I think this fragrance came out last year and actually is one of my favorite releases from last year. From the brand of Mancera, this is Tonka Cola. This is really cinnamon. You get that Coca-Cola Accord and Tonka bean. Absolutely love it. Standout fragrance. I love the way they came up with that Coca-Cola Accord. Don't know exactly how they pulled it off, but they did. And I love this stuff. What a great representation of the note of Tonka bean. From the brand of Mancera, check out Tonka Cola. All right, guys, we're now at the top three and easily... For me personally, um, these were the top three Tonka Bean fragrances in my collection. So coming in, in the number three spot, from the brand of Mugula, now discontinue, what a sad story, this is pure Tonka. Pure Tonka. This is coffee, cacao, patchouli, and Tonka Bean. Guys, I don't have the words to explain how good this fragrance is. All I can say is, I'm glad to have this in my collection, man. But if you just listen to the notes, it's like a creamy coffee uh, fragrance with, of course, that chocolatey kind of patchouli with some tonka bean. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. But you'll see why it's only number three, because the top two are probably regarded by most people to be the best tonka bean featured fragrances ever created. But number three is no slouch from the brand of Mugler. This is pure tonka. All right, guys, I went back and forth with number one and number two. And on any given day, they could swap. But for right now, and it's just really based on performance, it's based on performance is why I rank them one and two. But if you're looking for a great representation of Tonka, 
Doesn't get much better than number two from Guerlain. This is Tonka Imperial. Tonka Imperial, this is almond tobacco. Tonka bean, there's a little bit of a piney nuance on the dry down. Guys, this is beyond, I can't, I, I cannot tell you how good this is. And unfortunately, this has been discontinued, so it's a little bit harder to get your hands on this. But man, this fragrance is centered around the note of tonka bean. Again, one of the rare fragrances where tonka bean is front and center, and the other notes support, um, serve as supporting notes, like the almond uh, in here, the pine. But the only reason I put this one at number two, right behind the number one, is because this one really does, if you want to talk about it, it does have some performance issues. I only get about four or five hours of complete performance, and especially now with the price that you're gonna to have to pay to get your hands on this, I understand that may be a problem for some people. But if you're just looking for a great representation of Tonka, it really doesn't get much better than this. And my number two spot from the brand of Guerlain, this is Tonka Imperial. Check out this bottle, man. Look at the size. This is gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous stuff, man. And the number one Tonka Bean scented fragrance, if you don't know, now you know. From the brand of Christian Dior, the La Collection Privé Collection, this is Fair Delicious. Cherry, caramel, praline, and Tonka Bean are some of the main notes. And simply put, guys, I can't, you gotta smell Fair Delicious. Another one that's unfortunately been discontinued now, hard to get. I've given you guys an alternative for it, but man. This is the best Tonka Bean fragrance in my collection. I did this in uh, Tonka Imperial side by side. The performance of this was better, but overall this is just a, a richer fragrance, man. Um, more complex, to be quite honest with you. And I absolutely love it. So the number one Tonka Bean fragrance in my entire collection is this one. Fair Delicious. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my time. Those are my top 25 or 26 or so Tonka Bean uh, fragrances in my entire collection. What's some fragrances that I missed that may center, be centered around the note of Tonka Bean? If I missed any, what do you think about the list? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your boy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.